Hello, lovely Taurus, and welcome back. Thank you for returning. For those of you who are new, welcome in. So Taurus, what a day. Today, the day is, is the moon is in Taurus. So for moon sign, Taurus placements, there's going to be a message here for you. Sun signs rising and Venus signs, of course. So happy 4th of July for those of you who celebrate it. There's a, a level of freedom. You've been coming out, Taurus, in the most like shocking way possible for Cancer's reading and Gemini's reading. Uh, you've been coming out with the card of, of definitely going for something. So I'm very curious, but Archangel Michael is definitely with us. So Archangel Michael in ancient astrology is also known as Aldebaran. Uh, Aldebaran, you could Google that, it's in the Bible. And Aldebaran on July 3rd and 4th, Archangel Michael will be in alignment with the bull, right in the eye of the bull on the 3rd and the 4th. Now Archangel Michael is the protector, the defender. It's like light coming in now on the 3rd and 4th to protect you right now. So this is Archangel Michael, which is a very powerful alignment. It aligns also with the star Cyrus. For more information, please do follow LADA, L-A-D-A, -A, on YouTube Astrology. And for your Taurus July horoscope, she, know, she will better describe what this is. And it says, I am with you to give you the courage to make life changes that will help your work on your life divine purpose. This is your divine purpose. This alignment on the third and fourth is one of the wealthiest alignments for the whole month of July, which is a very wealthy month. Archangel Michael is here with you now to give you the courage for you to go for it. So July is going to be the month where I feel the courage of Archangel Michael is coming in and saying, I got your back, go for it. Now, this is something that's emerging when it comes to your dreams. Now we have Celeste here. So for Taurus Collective, if this reading is going to resonate with you, some of the message will not. Not all of you Tauruses may be ready to move. You could have put an application in for an apartment. There could be an apartment, a home, something here that's pending. Okay, You could be preparing for a new home or a move or looking for an apartment or a place of employment is in the works here. For some of you, you're letting go of a career. For some of you, you're moving to a different job. For some of you, there's some changes going on at work here, okay? So be flexible, be ready, be prepared. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So for some of you, pack your bags, okay? Call the movers because there are some moves that are going to be taking place. Like I feel you're going for it. Uh, if this is a new job, I'm, fi I'm picking up tours for you. There's something here where the, for a lot of you, you're heading for your divine life purpose and there's gonna be fame around this. For some of you, this could be like a five-star hotel. There could be something here that I'm saying it could have to do with um, dancing. You could be a dancer. You could be somebody who's a professional artist, somebody here who's got like, you know, five-star dining, five-star VIP. Wherever you're going, it's going to be a higher elevated level. Do you see that woman dancing? Now, I think this reading did come out for cancer. I said, let's dance. And it was definitely a feeling where, for some of you, this energy that's coming through, and I want to just say, because I always take tons of notes here, okay? I saw artists, makeup artists, cosmetologists, music you're somebody here who is into music you're very musically talented you're gifted here this could be definitely also makeup artists going international international travel could be here international moves for some of you connecting with the world which is having access now to a major accomplishment that's coming in because it ushers in something positive so some of you Taurus, this reading will resonate for you. Take it how it resonates. There was a very important message. Where did I write your stuff down? Something here is brewing, yeah. And it says, when it comes to Taurus here, let's get some more messages from the angels, your guides, your spirit guides when it comes to Taurus. Your third house is going to be lit. This is the house of Gemini, Gemini rule. This rules communication, your mind shifting. 
Like I feel your attitude is shifting. This is for Taurus. Let's shuffle. We'll get back to that. We're going to get the monology. Let's get back. So, Taurus. This is so crazy. Taurus. There's some pause that's, that's going on here. You could be waiting, okay? Waiting for the, uh, the application, something's pending. No, Taurus, you're ending a cycle in your life, definitely something here. There's like one door closing and another one is opening here. Uh, call upon the angels, especially Archangel Michael to help guide you. Happiness is waiting for you, Taurus. I'm seeing palm trees, I'm seeing, you know, see, it's like near an ocean. For some of you, you could be going on a vacation. You could be needing to travel to the water. For some of you, it's like definitely taking some time off or taking a vacation. I saw the vacation in this card. So for some of you, you could be getting a suite. You could be traveling, getting a five-star accommodation, VIP, okay? It's like you will be so happy, okay? For some of you, there's definitely, I feel, travel that's coming in. But when it comes to that south node, the south node is ending something here. You're ending some kind of a contract here, Taurus. When it comes to relationships, you've been feeling very attacked. You could even have been feeling drained. Your energy or under spiritual attack. Caution fell to the floor. So Bridget is here. I have Caressa Celeste Bridget. I got the initials B, the initials C, okay? is what I'm seeing here. And it feels like caution is warranted. There's something here that you need to look into deeper, into a situation before you proceed further. You know, like when they say, if you're signing a contract, read the small print, read the small print here. Take your time, right? Look into it deeper, get a lawyer if you need to, okay? You're being cautioned, so you could be like, I felt, I felt that delay. There could be a delay for a reason. And your angels are wanting you to look more deeper into this. It could have to do with legal documents, land purchasing, okay? Something here can be like a feeling where, where it's so unreal, it's hard to believe. Something here could be like all that, it's very glittery, but it's not, you know, all that gold is in glitters. So pay attention. Caution is warranted. Around the 14th, 15th of July, mark your calendars, slow down. Mars conjuncts Uranus in your sign. So this is an intense energy in the middle of the month. These are hard aspects. You want to avoid getting into any conflict around the 14th or 15th. You want to stay as calm as possible, as focused as possible, and be very mindful. There could be some aggression that's been building up some intense tension, some kind of a power struggle, something unexpected on the 14th and 15th can go down. So use this energy to create something positive, okay? Because it does look good by the 21st. So whatever that's going on right now where there's conflict or things can be intense, that full moon on the 21st is gonna be epic for us, Taurus. So if you, I have Venus in Taurus, it'll be epic. You could clear out something here. Something can close out for the full moon, second full moon, which is a very rare full moon. <clears throat> and your hard work can pay off. So, and Venus, your ruler and Jupiter will be aligned on the 21st with this full moon, full moon in your money house. So the houses that are gonna be lit up now is your earnings, there could be a windfall coming in. Yeah, there's something that you're confused about. So like it's saying, you do not have enough information on this. This could be somebody here who's making something look really good. Like the house looks good, the apartment looks good, the job offer looks good. But there's something here that I feel that you need to do more research on. You may need to seek an expert's advice before making this decision, before buying it, before signing down the dotted line, okay? There's some confusion, okay? Now, this because, if I'm correct, there was Venus squaring Neptune here. So there's blurred lines. There's like a reality check here that's taking place, and you need to trust your intuition right now. 
there's a feeling here of in that third house where you will be in July. That's Mercury. That's Gemini. It's time to get exceptionally sharp right now. If there's some kind of a, it's like stay cautious, slow down, right? Because Venus will square Neptune. So it's like definitely something here is coming out to the light, some kind of a truth. So with this is saying, avoid making any major decisions before you look deeper into the fine print here. So the outcome is shifting is what I feel now. There is a feeling here, and we're going to clarify why this is, right? At the bottom of the deck, you are protected. Archangel Uriel's here, and Archangel Michael, we saw. Archangel Uriel's green. So this is a healing of your heart chakra. Get ready to open up to receive. Taurus, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open up to greater love. I will help you to release anger, any unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. This is aligning your, your, your mind and your heart. I'm feeling down even to the lower mind because Mercury's the energy of higher mind and lower mind meets, okay? So Archangel Uriel's healing. It's, it's a good thing to eat a lot of green vegetables, green leafy. <clears throat> you could be connecting to your body because your body's healing. Like I went and I cooked meals that had the color red and green. So for green, I got my greens, my salads, right? I threw in some reds with strawberries. I threw in a lot of bunch of color into the, my food. Your five senses are going to be highlighted in July now. So I want to clarify what this is. We're going to just clarify and then we'll dive deeper into the reading. This is for collective messages for Taurus. This is going to be an intuitive collective reading to clarify the angel messages for Taurus for July 2024. So, the small details that need to be more looked deeper into, okay? You need to get more organized. You need to make lists. There's something that you're working on right now. You need to be more practical, okay? It's not about the numbers. It's about the quality. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. My granddaughter Vera Bella just said this when I was working on it she says she told me I says yeah I says I feel like you know um, I'm losing you know a lot of subscribers I feel like you know the time off she says well don't worry about that she says she says I went on and I think she says on her own little channel thanked everyone for 100 subscribers and she ended up getting more so like I said I want to thank you Taurus for your subscription uh, if I was feeling like, you know, I'm not feeling like the fruits of my labor because there's been conflicts, something here that, that's been going on. And I feel the five of swords is definitely this feeling of you want to avoid making any major decisions. Like I said, when your mind wants to do one thing and, and your body is telling you no. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. The five of swords is a card of energy of mental conflict. So I want to see what this caution is. Show me angels, guides, what does Taurus, what is this caution about? Why is there a caution here? Proceed slowly, the full card, because there is a make it or break it moment on the 14th and 15th. For a lot of you, Taurus, I said in your last reading, there was a conversation that can make it or break it on 14th and 15th. There it is, Uranus will conjunct with Mars. Okay, a lot of tension. Four of Cups, there's something here, okay, where there's been neglect, there's been abandonment. There's been a feeling like this also comes in out of the blue. This happens out of the blue, okay? Four of Cups here, right? There's something here where I feel it comes unexpectedly. You will not see this happening. Yeah, <laughs> Ace of Cups. Caution, because that Ace of Cups, Taurus, okay? It's here. You've been passing it up here, the Four of Cups. It's like the Four of Cups is a feeling of meditation, contemplation. It's like re-evaluation. You've been re-evaluating this. So there's something here that you're getting ready here to go for. The Ace of Cups is here. It's coming in from the hand of the divine. That Ace of Cups is love. 
but it says before you just jump in head over heels for this person you want to slow down and think you you like the uranus is already in your chart here but you want to avoid any conflict here with the four of cups now underneath you is the ten of pentacles okay like i feel taurus a lot of people are not going to to expect this this is something you won't even expect but I feel what's here is, Taurus, you are somebody here who doesn't even expect this to shift. And it's about to shift, like I said, golden, five-star hotel, five-star restaurant. Everything here is aligned with the stars. Six of wands. There's going to be a lot of jealousy around this here, okay? Like I feel you're somebody here who's seen in the limelight here. You are somebody here ten of pentacles who's who's surrounded by a wealthy family there's something that you're giving birth here to this is reaping the rewards now reaping the rewards you're very confident right now you're very grounded right now but like there's something here that you want to take a leap of faith with now the six of wands and the queen of wands like i said there's a lot of jealousy here be aware of this person that's here this is a frenemy the Queen of Wands with the Page of Wands, there's somebody here, okay, that's been waiting to talk to you. Caution with this person. You have somebody here, Taurus, that you cannot trust, okay? This Queen of Wands can be an Aries of significant Mars and Aries. Or this could be somebody here that you had some kind of a conflict with or there was a third party situation, okay? So caution, something unexpected. Like the Four of Cups was you were not interested in a part-time love affair or a part-time relationship. You were not going to settle for that. So you achieved great success on your own. You're somebody who has high standards, like I'm feeling here, Taurus, which you should, right? Because when it comes to where you stand in this relationship with the divine counterpart here, they've been definitely preparing for something. Seven of Pentacles here, okay? It's like they have some seeds planted here with you, right? There was some investments, could be money, property, real estate. But now that you are having a major glow up in your life, a windfall that's here, Ten of Pentacles, okay? There could be a wedding announcement, a birth of a baby announcement, there could be a family gathering, an event in July, a party, whatever it is, you're the ball of the party, man or a woman. This emperor is coming in, but there's somebody here behind your back that can't even stand you out. They can't stomach you out, this queen of wands, okay? There's somebody here, and it could be somebody younger, right? They're about to give you a message because this Queen of Wands is very confident. I felt they've been waiting, okay? So be cautious about this person here. There could be some conflict. And you're going to need to be calm, cool, mindful, focused. Focus on yourself, on your identity here, okay? This is like there's a stressful situation that's here is what I'm feeling. So it feels like whatever project you've been working on, because this is where the meetup comes with Mars. And I had this, this is because this is legacy achievements. This is Jupiter wants to bless you here with good luck and good fortune here. But you're at the point of a karmic breaking cycle. You're, you're ending something here, remember? You're ending something here. So there's anger, there's hostility. There's a third party here, situation that's very jealous of you. So like I'm feeling, and it says, open up to greater love here. It's like, when it comes to a structure in your life, 10th health, something that you have been working on for a very long time, your reputation, your status, your first house, Mars rules, where Jupiter will be, like I feel now in Gemini to 2026, it's just leaving your sign, but it's gonna leave you a gift for your achievements, for your hard work that you've been putting in, for the fruits of your labor, seven of pentacles, okay? So there could be a jealous sibling here, queen of wands, okay? This could be about siblings, family members, cousins, 
sisters, brothers, whatever it is, there's some kind of, you want to avoid conflict with this person because they're very jealous. They see you getting a major reward, okay? Let me drink some water. All right. So, be cautious, like I'm feeling, because there's something you are going for. You're like, yes, I made plans. This is what I want to do. Your dreams are emerging. They're coming to reality. So there's some kind of reality check around this here, is what I feel. Show me this confusion for Taurus. Why is it here? Ten of Swords. There's been a betrayal here. King of Swords. Somebody here has given you blurred lines, and like I said, this is going to be about the higher mind, where now you can be mentally sharp. If you were confused before, if it's over, you won't be confused anymore. King of Swords. Okay. You're severing ties or cutting ties here with somebody here. You're getting very clear, whether it's a job, like I'm saying, a home, a situation matters, nine of ones, and you're protecting what you built, nine of ones here. This is resilience. This is resilience. It's saying, yes, you are feeling very guarded. You're on edge right now. The king of swords, the ten of swords here. You've been betrayed and, and backstabbed and stepped on from this person, right? And this person was blurred lines, right? Mixed communication. And now the truth's coming in. And like the King of Swords is a lawyer, professional, seeking expert's advice, Nine of Wands, before you push forward on something here. You know, it says you might have been confused about something here. There might have been like something you're very angry about because there was something here where the information was not according to what you thought or what you were said to or somebody told you words actions that were taken here for ones about a home see if there's any confusion about a home situation your four of wands is your foundation your structure it says avoid making decisions not based on the truth here there was blurred lines there's some kind of a check so miscommunication yeah two of cups a contract and temperance Sagittarius and Jupiter, okay? This is a card of moderation. This is a card of patience. This has been like something you've been waiting. So you could be revisiting the past here, Six of Cups, okay? You could be going back home or revisiting a home or revisiting somebody here. But the Two of Cups is a contract of soulmate. So this is a soulmate of yours. Somebody here where I feel there's been some kind of standstill okay it's like you're trying to bring balance in a situation you may be confused of this person they may be coming out like very cold very cold they may be coming out like you know they're very hard like to, to surrender this person doesn't want to let the sword down okay somebody here is not letting the sword down and it's like somebody here wants to like you know let's have a toast let's celebrate you know how far we've come kind of an energy but the temperance is saying what moderation and time here, okay? Sagittarius is Jupiter ruled. So this is a card of definitely here, much six of cups, water's been blending and six of pentacles and ace of pentacles. There is an opportunity that's coming in. There's a choice that needs to be made. The king and queen will be meeting up. There it is, communication, the lines of communication that begin to open up here. So in the beginning, this person may be coming off detached, cold, okay? Not warming up here, but somebody here is warming up. And it feels like the both of you are about to make a quick discussion that might just change everything. Like I feel Eight of Wands is a major shift that's coming in. So if you are confused about when it comes to where you stand with this person, I feel that this person is definitely going to be somebody here where there's a generous offer. There is going to be an offer that might shock you, okay? It's like this person might want more time to get things in order, but it feels like with the Queen and the King of Swords, Six of Swords, there is a move. There is a move, and it's a quick move. Something here that's painful, necessary, very necessary to leave behind. It's like somebody here has been holding on to somebody, keeping them attached. 
this is like a contract here with karmic so the blue moon in cancer and blue moon in 21st in capricorn is going to be significant i feel you're clearing out old versions old contracts i feel like this is a reality check here you're leaving a connection where this person did not want to let you go did not want to let they were possessive and obsessive selfish and greedy when it came to their energy moon that capricorn moon is going to be epic for you here okay and like we've seen you got a windfall coming taurus it's also cutting ties severing ties here in a connection because you're choosing to release it you're cutting away from the devil energy so there's a contract or karmic closure that's happening where you can be released that jump that gemini card is released so you could have um, you're very Venusian. Gemini could be in your chart. You could be Gemini cusp, Taurus. So the Two of Cups tells me there's a contract here that's, that's definitely been broken. You're, you're free to make a choice now. You're free to have that clear insight of who you're going to choose to connect with here. But all in all, there is a beautiful connection that's here. Something here with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles that you're confused about. Two people could be here. They're closing out for some of you, okay? Now, let's see what this happy move is. Show me what this move is. Eight of Swords, you can finally break out of the lower mind that kept you trapped or stuck in a job or a home that you were unhappy. Eight of Swords, something that you really felt trapped in, you know? You can finally uh, open up to new ideas because the Eight of Swords is you're breaking out of something here that you felt trapped in, Taurus. Okay, job, home. There's movement that's ushering in. So the, there's a shift. Good news is on its way. Yeah, if you put an application in, page of wands, looking up, lifting your head, and it's like, yeah, you're guided, page of wands. Good news, page of wands. You're going to be in Leo. So Venus enters Leo on the 11th. This is fun, love, playful, excited, more friendlier, more talkative. It's more romanticizing yourself. So this could be your wardrobe, your makeup, your health, your eating. It's very excited. It's very optimistic. So this could be when it comes to like, you know, you're happy to look forward now to the new move. You're inspired and it's going to happen very fast. Knight of Swords, things shift, and the Five of Cups because you're breaking out of a place where you were very unhappy. So... Taurus, I feel for some of you, if you're moving, you may have to move where you have to cross a river. There may be a river. There may be a bridge for some of you. If you're moving, it could be across some kind of a river or a bridge near. It feels like this is going to be a happy move, right? The Knight of Swords is an action sword. It, it's coming from a place, the Knight of Swords, where if you were confused about rushing or jumping on something here, I feel by you being more optimistic about things and opened up your mind, right? It, it feels like this is like something here that comes in where it'll blow your mind, right? Because it's so positive, right? It's a whole new aspect here. Now, the Page of Wands is in a desert near mountains, okay? Yeah, there it is. There's the home again, Four of Wands. Yeah, for some of you. This Four of Wands and the Two of Cups is something you've been waiting for. Yeah, it's definitely a new home, a new door, a new career move. It's the 1111. It's the light workers. Like I said, Archangel Michael is protecting you, Taurus. Four of Wands. This could, for some of you, be this happy move in employment here. Whatever it is, you could be partnering up. This could be your business partner. It could be like you're opening up your heart and your mind to a whole new world here. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, there's somebody here that's been at a distance. The Temperance can be, this is somebody, a soulmate, that's about to rush in towards you here. There's somebody here that's been missing you. This person has a lot of regrets. They're ready to cross this water. They're ready to, like the, bur the bridge is not burned in one of these relationships. You did not burn the bridge. The bridge is still there, okay, for you to cross over where the Two of Cups is. You know, look, he's got his head down. He's wearing the black cloak. Somebody here is really disappointed. They're really down. They may be coming off depressed, suffering depression. 
they could be feeling miserable, you know, five of cups, we've seen, and we've seen that king of swords. So somebody here has not been feeling very spurty, you know, like, oh, all, all up like, you know, like you are. You're also breaking out of a pattern where you felt down in the dumps, but that bridge is not burned. So like I'm saying, you're going to travel. This could be some kind of a short distance travel, like, and the Four of Wands is right there with the Two of Cups. There's the Two of Cups. It was always right there, the Two of Cups. So the soulmate, there's love here, okay? This is somebody here that I feel the both of you are definitely divine counterparts, Two of Cups, Temperance. They're saying don't go to extremes. Take your time. Patience is needed, you know, to develop this connection to heal what needs to be healed. Temperance, the angel, Uriel, blending the cups. It's like, because now the both of you can open up to a greater love and a connection. This is somebody, like I said, you got a choice, okay? And now you're breaking out of a place where you may have stuff. Yeah. Look, lovers, six of cups and the six of pentacles. You'll be balancing the scales here. There is this somebody that wants to give you a very generous offer, Taurus. Queen of swords, like I'm saying. So you will have this clarity to make a decision with the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Whatever this is, that home is coming in fast. I feel in July for some of you, in July. It says, now what are you ending towards? You're at the end of a cycle in your life, Caressa, it says. Call upon your angels to comfort you. Happiness awaits you. Yeah. You are feeling emotionally drained, feeling, you know, unhappy, five, something that was changing to the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Happiness is here. This is the ultimate happy, happiness. So you could be going on a vacation. You could be vacationing with your family. You could be definitely, there's a happy family here. There's children. There's a happy family King of Pentacles is here. You could be traveling with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like yourself, and Seven of Wands, okay? Yeah, there's somebody here when you're traveling that doesn't like when you're all happy and shit. They don't like to see you doing that. You're traveling, Six of Swords. This could be a short distance travel, Six of Swords. There's something here where you're traveling with a child, okay? There is a child here that you're, you'll be traveling with. You could be traveling uh, in water, across water, but I do feel that you're happy, Ten of Cups. You're like, yeah, I'm moving towards my happiness, but there's somebody here, King of Pentacles, like, look at them. You see, when you're all up in your place of happy, successful, Seven of Wands, it's like somebody here is like blocking that. They're like, block it like somebody's putting up a block here right so there's somebody here that was trying to block your happiness there was somebody here that was trying to block your success when your work okay king of pentacles i feel taurus this is you there's definitely you being very you know down to earth successful happy you know the King of Pentacles is, is a masculine energy, but it talks to me about father figures, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Somebody here that, you know, looks at you and sees there's this, this feeling here. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Six of Swords, Nine of Wands, something that's ending. That's coming to an end. You have an ex or a partnership here that liked when you were broke. Like when you were dependent on them, that you were very needy, but you weren't, and you're leaving that. So there's somebody here, like five of pentacles to the king of pentacles. Now the tables have turned. Now they're feeling that way, okay? And this is also a feeling like you're putting up your guard. You're blocking. Your, there's like seven of wands is a need of healthy boundaries, right? Healthy boundaries defending your happiness here because this six of swords nine of wands okay is a cycle that you're closing out remember it said you're at the end of a chapter so you're closing out a chapter 
where there was betrayal. Like they didn't care if they stepped on you when you were down in the, in the dumps, when you needed help, when you were thrown out of situations, when you were on the streets. Let's just say the truth. At 10 of swords, five of swords, but look, the sun is shining. It's rising over here. So you're closing out a chapter where this person didn't care if you were starving. I'm not gonna say the truth. When you were down, they didn't help you, this person. So it's saying, ask your, ask the angels, Archangel Michael and Yorio, to guide you. Six of swords, you're being guided, divinely guided, divinely intervening. The tables are turning here to your next step because why? Happiness awaits you, Taurus. If you're leaving them behind. So that's what the angels are saying here. And the Pisces energy and Neptune, there's judgment here. This is karma. July is a month of karma. Saturn going retrograde. Neptune going retrograde from now to like, you know, the next four or five months. The full moon in Capricorn is going to clear out and close out a chapter here. So there's a reality check. Are you seeing it now? It's like, are you gaining... Are you seeing the bigger picture now? Because the judgment is like a feeling now where you're going through a rebirth. You have ancestors that are supporting you now. There's been a, a binding contract or a contract that was keeping you held back, right? Now Pisces 12th house is something that was hidden, okay? Comes to light where you can end a chapter. So Pisces energy here is, you know, trust your intuition. 12th house is letting go. The full moon is about letting go of old versions of yourself. Relief is on its way here. Ace of Wands is right underneath that. It, that Leo energy is going to definitely give you a great idea. If the judgment's coming in, you'll be inspired because of Mercury is right there. You've been traveling with Mercury, so Mercury is definitely your communication, will inspire you now to speak, to activate within you something that you wanted to build on for the long haul. A brand new beginning comes in, Hierophant. You'll be in a higher status, a major status you'll be in. You'll be in, in a place with, that's your card, Venus. That's religion, tradition, that's contracts, that's, um, you know, Things that, when it makes to changes that are happening now. There's a change that's happening, okay? So, Taurus, I'm going to leave that there. Now, let's go to this deck. This is a new deck for my birthday that Kathy gave me. And it's called Cherry Blossoms. So, let's get one card for Taurus. Cherry Blossoms Oracle card. And it's for the Sacred Seekers. This is for Taurus. It says manifesting your dreams. As you focus your energy on your dreams, you cultivate a sense of purpose and direction, which contributes to your emotional healing. I see a dream catcher here, okay? Cherry blossom trees, what a dream catcher here. You are manifesting like crazy your dreams right now. Venus in Jupiter will be in your money house. There could be a windfall that comes in that makes you so happy. This could be like, I'm just saying, Taurus, winning on the lotto, an inheritance, a major blessing coming in here, Taurus. So let's put this here and let's get a monology for Taurus. Let's get a monology for Taurus. Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. This is for Taurus for July, the most important message for Taurus. What is the messages for Taurus? Communication, third house is going to be key, double, double. Your third house is being lit, Gemini. These are choices that you'll have to make when it comes to love, business, a major choice. 
but Gemini is the third house where this is connecting with new groups, new social um, groups, new friends. Uh, it'll be where your communication will need it to be mentally sharp and on key. The answers that you need are coming. Like I said, I felt Gemini and look, prosperity lies ahead. Dan and I said today is the new moon in Taurus. Yeah, spot on Taurus. This is specifically like if you're a moon in Taurus right now, yes, prosperity is all around. You are a, have a gift for gab. You are somebody who has communication skills. You speak with grace. You are very direct. You are very eloquent. This is about, like I'm saying now, uh, I was just gonna call you Gemini here, okay? Let's say, let's say. It's aligned is what I'm hearing. What message is? New beginning in your third house. That's here. Not, I mean, I'm sorry. The third house is being lit. It's on fire here. So it says out with the old and with the new. But I'm also feeling like with the prosperity lying ahead and the Leo. There you are. Your whole July is on the table. The confidence is going to be the key to your success. Starting on the 11th of july more fun more playful more creative because leo is highly creative it's about new ideas and it's also about going for it you're wrapping things up right now taurus in july here okay but when you need the answers this tells me the clarity is coming in this is going to be communication opening up this is a whole lot of creative expression here for you. This is a new beginning, like I'm feeling here, when it comes to your attitude, talking about, socializing, helping you. You have help coming in, Taurus, okay? This is about more support that comes in. Like there's a feeling here of you have a huge support team. And like I said, prosperity lies ahead. This, this is long-term prosperity, God willing. This has to do with uh, establishments, retirements, whatever, like I feel that's been feeling like it's been held back, you're reaping the rewards now. You're reaping the rewards in money that you've earned, income, work that you've done, the service you've given. Uh, this has to do with your value systems, your possessions, your priorities. This is also with Gemini is your mind. It's about communication. It could have to do with neighbors. It could have to do with siblings. It could have to do with education, elevation, learning, networking, your mental well-being, your writing skills. Like it said, keep, um, what did I tell you earlier? Make a list, writing skills. Make a list, write it down. Pen to paper is magic. That's where the sword is, whatever you write down. So keep lists going, keep a, a, a diary or keep a daily log, you know. This is also about networking. Um, this is processing a lot of information. So like I'm feeling a lot of information is gonna be coming in towards. So there's a lot of processing going on in July. It's gonna be a very busy month for you, okay? Now, where was that other note that I had for you? Yeah, what it comes to do with your status, your reputation, okay? Your professional aspirations. This is a beautiful time for money. So I wanna do, where are we, 41? Let's do the money. Let's do money matters for Taurus. We'll leave it there, wait, we'll get a, I know it's long, I'm at 44. Yeah, and I look nuts. I'm tired, but I didn't want to leave this day. Tomorrow the moon moves into Gemini. The moon will be in Gemini. So write down these ideas. They're coming in from up above. Source creator, right? Everything that comes in is an idea. Pay attention to your, your thoughts, your imagination, right? Temperance, King of Swords. So temper, temper, temper.
right now, King of Swords, when it comes to legal matters, when it comes to thinking very logical here, it's like you can need detached. You can be very strict at this time and you're needing, like I feel, serenity. You're needing to calm down. You're needing tranquility. You're needing peace. You're needing, you know what I said? I felt like, you know when you just need, like when you're living alone, King of Swords or whatever it is, and, and, and you're like, you can't find peace, a peace mind, a peace of mind. You've been having a hard time when it comes to that, but this communication is going to come in to help you. So right now, patience, because like I feel the help that you need is coming in. This could involve the law. This could be you're somebody who's a lawyer. You're somebody here who is an apprentice. You're somebody here who, you know, like I'm feeling when things, when the going gets tough, it's like you need calm. You're looking for peace. And it's on its way, Ace of Pentacles, prosperity. It's all about the money, Ace of Pentacles. There's a profit here that's being made. You're profiting. There's a new beginning when it comes to a great money opportunity. Something here that you've been waiting for is coming in. And this new opportunity could be this new job, this happy move, this new door, this new investment. You're investing into something here. This Ace of Pentacles is coming in from the hand of the divine. A big money opportunity is coming in towards. Yeah, High Priestess. Oh, yeah. You look, there's your new door. Four of Wands. A new door is about to be opened here. So I definitely see relocation here. The last card that fell out was the High Priestess. Okay. For some of you, you're a tarot reader like me. For some of you here, you practice tarot. For some of you, you are, like I told her to tell it to cancer, you're all um, spiritual and shit. You're very tranquil, right? You love to work out. So getting back into your workout daily day routine when you can find time for yourself so that you can connect, so that you can hear yourself think, right? So you can have time. So it's good to get out earlier. Like if you're working and the best time for you will be the best time for you. But you need to be more in a place of Zen. You need more tranquility right now because there's a big money opportunity that's here for you. You might need like you might be receiving a psychic um, advice here when it comes to something you want to invest in. You might need a reading. You might be a reader. You might like a feeling here of something here when it comes to sacred knowledge, your higher learning. You'll be learning this. This is something that you want to invest in. You could be somebody who's getting ready to start your own business, Ace of Pentacles. You're a psychic. You're, you're somebody who could be definitely somebody here who's seen, okay? You have a, your own channel. You express what you're doing here, yet you're very in alignment here. Now, it tells me, there's things with the secret with the Ace of Pentacles. Hold this close to your chest here. Right? Don't let everybody know about it here, okay? It's like, and the Four of Wands is here, a new home. Don't let everybody know about it because you got somebody here, Page of Swords, that's checking on you out, spying on you. This is somebody here who's very clever, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, Four of Pentacles. So it's somebody here, like I'm feeling here, this is your energy, Venus and Taurus. You could be very stubborn right now. There's a situation of something you were saving for. You might be fearing you're going to lose it. You could be feeling like, you know what, um, the Four of Pentacles, hanging on or holding on. There could be something here about a child. Okay, this could be a mother, a child, or this could be a sibling. Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. There's somebody here that can be very rebellious, right? And it feels like there's a lot of pointing fingers here, okay? So the energy here that I feel is de definitely somebody here. Don't let somebody get the best of you, Taurus, okay? There could be people that are trying to control you, betray you, and there's a feeling here of finger pointing, Okay? So don't get tempted or to lower your standards, okay? So definitely, um, 
Yeah. Don't get tempted to lower your standards because people are pointing fingers at you. These people are watching you, right? Like these are secrets that could be coming out. Something that you already know. You know somebody here doesn't like you, okay? And this person might be very direct with you, giving you constructive criticism here, trying to help you because you're stubborn and you don't want to change something. Four of Pentacles, Scorpio energy, Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody here smokes and they do tarot on the side. Somebody here could have shaved their head on one side, cut their hair, got that badass. I'm seeing somebody here go through a whole makeover. Like you're cutting your hair off, you're smoking, you're a badass, right? Page of Wands, okay? It's like somebody here is playing. They could be, a, you know, a poker player. Or, but this is somebody who does tarot and Scorpio energy. Something here is ending. There's that Pluto energy, okay? which is your opposite. So this tells me what, what something's about to change. It's like a transformation. So somebody here could be very intuitive, letting you know when it looks to something here deep. Scorpio goes deep. Scorpio is about deep psychological issues that are coming up here. Four pentacles that could have been holding you back. So I feel you're changing your beliefs. There's something here that you're changing and somebody's trying to, to communicate, okay, Taurus, with you. They're trying to give you the confidence that you need to succeed because there's a, there's a calling here. There it is. It's like when you release this and you release um, anger, if there's anger issues that somebody here has been angry or trying to hold you back, that's over, game over. Yeah. And I saw the five of pentacles again. So you're coming out of that. There's a new opportunity. And it's like somebody's trying to tell you, yeah, you got the confidence, Taurus. Do it. Do it. Go for it. Kind of an energy. Now, what's the message from the universe? And we'll leave it there. I hope that this message doesn't annoy you that it was so long. I hope those of you who stood to the end, if this message is resonated, I thank you. Let's see what the advice is from the universe, and we will leave it there. This is for July 2024, advice for Taurus. Live your life to the fullest, Taurus, potential. Let go of the need for approval from others. That was it. Live up to your own expectations and nobody else's. No more selling yourself short. Keep moving forward. You've got this. So Taurus, there's no need for other people's approval. That's what it is. And it says this stressful situation is almost coming to an end. We are sending positive energy, financial help, miracles, and life-changing blessings your way. I don't know who had this last, but if I remember, I'll pin it in the comments. What some other sign had this, yeah. And I don't know, but Taurus, you will find a way because financially the money's coming. If this is what you've been waiting for for the move, it's coming in with that Ace of Pentacles. We saw it. This is going to be life changing. Keep moving forward, Taurus. Big blessings are on its way. Thank you. I love you.